Do you love Hoyas for their foliage? Well, me too! Let's look at some of my favorites together. Hi friends, welcome back to Botanical Woman. I'm super excited to talk to you guys about my favorite Hoya leaves. As you, some of you may know, I have a pretty large collection of Hoyas, but not all Hoya leaves are created equal. And there are just some of them that have an extra special place in my heart and I wanna share with those with you today. So here's the first one. This is the Hoya Rosita. Um, I really have really low expectations for this plant and I guess it really just surprised me and it continues to surprise me every time I look at it. This plant just has really rich dark margins and as you can see this baby leaf is like super black right now. I don't know it's just really sexy I think and yeah I just love the rich deep color of it. It's just really pretty and oh right and when the new leaves come in it just has this really gorgeous rich sheen to it just kind of I don't know it's like when you see velvet just kind of delicious The next Hoya that I would like to introduce you guys to is what I call an overachiever. And it is this Hoya Macrophylla Albo Marginata. And the reason why I say it's an overachiever because it has these gorgeous, gorgeous leaves. First of all, when it comes in, it's red and it has this wonderful red margin all around it. I'm going to try to find a photo of when the leaf first comes in, but it is super like glowy red when it is a baby leaf. And on top of that, it has obviously this really cool yellow creamy variegation that is stable, doesn't go away. And what I really love is some of these new leaves, you check out the variegation, is just every leaf is different. So with every new leaf, you are always surprised by you know, what you get. The new leaves are super, shiny and they're super waxy and I just love the size of them like this is one of the leaves that it put out right after I put it into semi-hydro and it's loving life it is just so thick and I don't know perfect so I really have Jess to thank for this plant because she's the one that really wanted it and so we bought it together so we're plant twins if you want to check her out over on Instagram, she's over at Let's Be Friends. Hey, Foliage Club. Don't yeah. mind if I do. Just wanted to pop in and show you guys Crinkle 8 here with the super cute dimples. Mm -hmm. It's in bloom right now. And it smells amazing like chocolate. So if you guys ever want to come by to Team Bloom, you guys are always welcome. See you later. Enjoy. So that was Team Bloom. Uh, anyway, back to the foliage club. This foliage is so beautiful. And we're back with our next Hoya Poodle right here. <laughs> Are you a Hoya Poodle? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our next up is a classic Hoya. It is the Hoya Crimson Queen. I love this plant from the very beginning. I just really love these creamy leaves. Very similar to the Macrophylla, the new leaves come in pink and then slowly lose its pinkness um, as it matures and turns into this lovely cream. And yeah, I just really love the stable variegation and it's really nice to look at the creamy colors layered with the green. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like white chocolate when you merge them together with dark chocolate. Yeah, it is just a very beautiful plant. I think um, every Hoya foliage lover should have one.
There are a lot of really cute Hoyas out there, and this is not to say this is like the cutest of them all, but I really wanted to highlight this one because I don't think it gets talked about a lot, and it is Hoya Croniana, and I just really think the leaves are really darling, especially because of how fat they have the potential to get if you water them consistently. They get really thick and chunky. They have this super cute kind of dimples on it, kind of reminds you of like the turtle shell. And it also has a bit of splash. They come in like super splashy black foliage, but this is just the regular one. And also for this one, it does get a little bit red if you give it higher light. So I really think it's just a really cute, easy growing Hoya. It's not very fussy. So if you don't have this one, I highly recommend it. This next Hoya I find to be highly underrated. A lot of people will find this at Lowe's in a really big basket. I got it through a trade and so I've been growing it up very slowly. But it is Hoya Bilabada and I really love it. The leaves are kind of like suede, has this like really soft fuzz around it. It's really stiff. And what's really interesting also is that depending on the growing condition, the shape of the leaves can be very different. And I don't really know exactly like what causes the shape leaf to change, but I've noticed that if it's underwatered, the leaves become a little bit more deformed and maybe a little bit more elongated. It's just a variety of things I can't, I feel like can change the shape of the leaves of this plant. But what's been interesting is watching these very perfectly almond-shaped leaves form and I just think they are so darling and they have like this perfect dark margin around them making them look really lovely and as you can also see here under higher light it also turns pink or some people will say it blushes but then you have like this crazy leaf that's like the shape is just completely different so I don't know I just think it's really interesting and I just love how succulent the leaves can be yeah I love this plant. It's like my little teddy bear. <laughs> um, so I really hoped, oh yeah, I made it bleed a little bit. <laughs> you see white stuff and I'm like, is that mealy bug? No, it's just blood, uh, Hoya blood. Those were some of my favorite Hoya leaves. Let me know in the comments below which ones are yours. And until next time, happy growing. Thank you for watching.